What's up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Today guys, you guys saw the video yesterday. We have an LML on the channel for a couple of short videos, but the truck is back. I picked it up earlier this week and we have what's wrong with it. Now to run you guys through what all has happened, we're going to get into what actually happened towards the end. But we're going to talk about how all this happened. But first, if you guys haven't, please hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and drop those comments down below. What do you think happened to the truck that ended up back at the shop over at Diesel and Automotive? So literally about one day prior to me needing to hook up to my camper and tow about 600 miles one way down to Myrtle Beach from where I live, the truck, there I am sitting at a drive-thru. I was getting ready to sell my Power Max Turbo. And I need somebody sitting at the drive-thru and all of a sudden it, I get a really loud knock. And it's like once every five seconds at first and then it's just boom, one after the other. So I pull over, I have no idea what it is exactly. And I did end up driving it over to Greg's at Diesel and Automotive where we found out it was pushing air back out of the intake. Cylinder number seven was throwing a code. So what Greg had determined was that, it was that the valves weren't sealing up, something was keeping them open or not allowing them to do what they're supposed to do and air was being pushed back out the intake and thus making that terrible terrible sound. Now when I got back I will probably will probably be as the descript or the picture for this video will actually probably be a clip of what was wrong or a picture of what was wrong. Last chance to take your guesses guys what happened to the truck. I can tell you in here is the part that broke. I'm going to get it out for everybody. All right guys, last chance. Here we go rocker arm. This is a piece of the rocker arm. Uh, I have the whole thing in there. The rest of it looks good, but this guy broke in glorious fashion. Then just to show you the rest of it, it actually sits like this. Uh, here's the rest of it, and the rest of it looks perfectly fine. I don't see any issues there. Now you'll notice, some of you guys may have noticed, this has the metal clips on here. You can't get the metal clips anymore. You can only get the plastic ones, which they started offering in the later years. So here they are, it's all broken. Not a fun day for me. So there you have it guys, rocker arm broke. Uh, we got new ones in there. My push rods were okay, they were all straight. Uh, so we didn't have any issues there. I do have upgraded push rods. Guys, if this happens to you, uh, please double check your push rods or make sure the shop is checking to make sure that they are closed or um, straight. And since then the truck's been running good. I've been driving it all week. It's driving just like it should. We're going to update the tune on it here soon. We're going to switch tunes out. And I'll probably do an updated tune review of Windrunner Performance tunes, which I haven't done for a while. I don't have them updated or I didn't have them updated for the setup until just recently. So we're going to probably hit that video up in the near future, guys. Fortunately, nothing major with this repair, something small. Sorry guys for some of these boring videos. We're gonna get some more exciting stuff here soon. Like the next video after this is going to be towing with the LML Duramax. Uh, super excited to release that review. And in that I compare a stock LML to my built 6.0 Power Stroke. So something a little different, something kind of fun. And uh, it is my unbiased review, at least as much as I'm able to do. So I hope you guys enjoy that. More Power Stroke content coming. We got Josh's truck coming back on the channel here soon, guys, uh, as well with a turbo coming up. I'm going to go check out his turbo and do a video unboxing that for you guys here shortly. So anyway, guys, that's all. Quick upload. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up, guys. Drop those comments down below. I'll see you in the next upload.